Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be on chicken diet. So I'll just start off with the main part of their diet, i.e. water, and um, this is essential to basically every single living organism. So they need fresh water in a tub or a drinker. So this is what we use, it's just a planter sort of thing. So you just hang that up somewhere and put your plants in, but instead we use it as a drinker and it is actually very good. They can't get it dirty, um, but you could use a standard sort of drinker design for chickens, which I'll insert a picture of now. So this is what ours looks like when it's attached. Um, it is really good for them. It's still a good height for them to reach, but they can't get their feet in there or whatever and make it really muddy. So the water will need changing every one to two days, depending on the quantity, so how much is left the season so in the summer you're going to want to do it more because they're going to be drinking more and they're going to need fresh water more um, and the quality i.e. how muddy it is and if there's any sort of like leaves or whatever in there just basically how clean it is really the water can be supplemented by adding raw garlic cloves to it and this is really beneficial for your chickens it makes their internal environment less attractive to worms but you still need to use a proper wormer such as flubin vet as this is not a main alternative, it can just help a little bit. It also is a tonic to boost their immune system. It improves their appetite to give them larger and better quality eggs, if that's the reason why you have chickens and obviously if they're hens. And the sulfur content of the poo is reduced, so it means it smells a little bit less. You can also give them apple cider, vinegar, um, this does have to be the raw kind designed for horses or specifically poultry and someone who buys in supermarkets is pasteurised so you get less of the health benefits. It acts as a mild antiseptic and mild antibiotic so it helps with illness and gives them lots of vitamins, minerals and trace elements to, um, and it also helps clear, clear their airways. So you can give this to them once a week, 20 millilitres per litre of water for adults and then 5 millilitres per litre of water for tri chicks and growers. Then their main source of nutrients, which is their commercial feed. Commercial feed is available in three types, pellets, crumbs or mash. So here I've got two examples of pellets and an example of crumb. So here I've got the Allen Page small holder age ones and the Dodson and Horrell pellets. As you can see, these ones are a lot smaller and thinner. And then I have an example of Leia's crumb here. Um, I don't have any mash at the moment, but it's pretty like much like the crumb it's just a lot finer so if you've seen instant mash before it's like that so feed generally gets supplied in a typical chicken feeder or hopper as it's also known you can also um, offer it to them in tub kind of thing like what we do with the water but we do prefer to use a feeder um, in this case it's up to you what kind of consistency of feed you give to your chickens pallets means less waste as the mash can go everywhere but mash and crumb does reduce feather pecking as feather pecking is redirected ground pecking when they get less chance to forage um, it takes them longer to eat the crumb and the mash so that will be better in that case it's just purely your choice we choose to feed the pellets and we give crumb or mash to sick chickens so when they come inside and then they'll get the crumb instead of the pellets if you're keeping chicks, you want to give them chick crumb from hatching day to up to six weeks old. And chick, an ideal chick, cr chick crumb should contain 19% protein to aid growth. Then from six to 18 weeks, you want to start feeding them a growers type feed. And this sh should contain 16% to 16% protein. From 18 weeks onward, you want to move them onto layers, pellets, or mash or crumb, and this should contain 15 to 17%. When you want to change your food, you will need to change over a one week period, or this can cause stomach upsets and just a couple of little minor health problems. Also, ex commercial hens, like what we have, are fed the mash or crumb type food, so they might not eat the pellets as fast because they probably won't associate it as being food. So you want to gradually change them over. Protein is really important for egg production and feather growth as feathers are 80% protein and it's also really important for the general growth of your birds. Food should be fed ad lib in the feeder and should only be topped up when required.
And then in their diet we have mixed corn. So this here is what mixed corn looks like, or you can get one with a few more different things in here. Wild bird seed, which is what I have here, also works really well and it's got different things in here. So it's got the mixed corn, sunflower seeds, a few millet seeds. So that just gives a bit more variety. Mixed corn is a mixture of wheat and cracked maize and they just want an egg cup full per bed per day. It's particularly good in the winter, in the late afternoon, because um, it helps before bed to keep them warm and ensures a full crop. However, it should only be offered as a treat, as it is high in fat, low in protein and lacks vit essential vitamins and minerals. And then finally we have grit and oyster shell. So this is what it looks like. The oyster shell are the is the larger pieces like this. And then the grit is just the very fine kind of pieces that you can see around this area. To this bit here. So as I think most of us know, chickens don't have teeth. And they have something called a crop or a gizzard which helps them to grind down their food and giving them grit just helps this process. And the oyster shell is a good source of calcium to help with the making of eggshells. What you can also do as well as oyster shell is give them back their own eggshells. So when you crack an egg open you can just store a load and then you bake it. And then you bake them on 200 degrees for 30 minutes to kill off bugs and then you can just like crush them up and then they can eat them. So then finally we have extra kind of treat things. So it is a common misconception that chickens are herbivores or vegetarian. They are actually omnivores, so they will eat meats and fish. Um, obviously it does have to be cooked. Ours particularly fish-wise, like sardines. Um, if you do buy kind of tin fish, you want it to be in oil or water, no sauce. You can also give them back their own eggs, whether it be raw or cooked for a protein sauce. So porridge oats are also a good treat kind of thing to give them. You can give them dry, like this, or you can make a porridge thing with the oats in the warm water. This is particularly good in winter as it will help to keep their crop warm. Even though chickens go mad for these, it is against death and regulations to give your chickens dried mealworms. This is because they are generally imported from China and can be contaminated. So it's pretty much for their convenience, as if they sell eggs and there's an issue, it makes it easier to trace from where the issue came from. However, a lot of chicken owners do still give their chickens dried mealworms, and live mealworms are perfectly safe. It's also against death regulations to give your chickens vegetable, vegetables brought from a shop. So if you do want to give them to your chickens, you have to grow your own and prepare them out of the kitchen, so in the garden. But once again, people generally ignore this rule, and if you do want to give your chickens vegetables, you have to make them, or chop them into really little pieces. I know this isn't, but this is out of the guinea pig vegetable box. Um, so what some people do is, to make them really small, you can give them to them raw or cooked. I think when it's cooked, it's better for them, because, like in terms of eating it, because it'll be all soft and mushy kind of thing. And um, so you can mash it up but they can be fed raw as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Bye.